Zot, zot, zot. Welcome to ZotTube. I'm your host, Stacey Morales, and this is I Am UCI, where we're going to be highlighting student successes in our current graduating class because we want to know what's going on in our future alumni's future. You know, that's going to make people go, wow, they went to UCI. It's awesome. So we're very excited to welcome Daniel Chow. He is a grad student currently, and I'll let him introduce more of himself. So hi, Daniel. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Stacey. Thank you for having me. So a bit about myself right now. I am an Ember student graduating in one month, so yay. Um, and in terms of my uh, profession right now, I work here at UC Irvine. I'm assistant professor in residence uh, in the Department of Radiological Sciences over at UCI Health. And on, for my research, I also co-direct the Center for Artificial Intelligence in Diagnostic Medicine, as well as the Precision Health through Artificial Intelligence um, Academic Initiative. So happy to be at UCI. Yes, we love it. And we've also heard that you've, um, you're one of the inventors of a device that uh, helps with monoclonal antibodies. Can you explain more about that? Yeah, so um, I've been working with the folks at UCI Health and you know, this is a very, very large team-based effort with medicine, uh, pathology, laboratory medicine, nursing. Um, one of the things that we did was we made a tool to triage high-risk patients. So this was back in, I wanna say January of last year is when we knew we wanted to do this. By March, we had our first patient and by May, June, we had deployed a tool. And what it does is when a patient comes in, we know that there are some patients who do poorly and some patients who do okay. And what we wanted to do was, could we build an AI-based tool that would flag high-risk patients and let clinicians know, hey, this is a more high-risk patient, maybe it applies on. Um, very proud you know, that we were able to deploy that at UCI Health. Um, and big, big shout outs to my other co-director, Peter Chang, who did all of the technical development for that. Um, and then, you know, it was pretty well received and we have since been trying to tie that to therapy uh, prediction. So can we identify which patients do well with certain therapies? And that's what that monoclonal thing was. Wow, we thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you for all that you've been doing. We really appreciate it, seriously. Um, so let's get into more about, you know, your personal life at UCI or like what you've, you know, what you've been up to. So what would you say is the highlight of your whole UCI experience? Um, honestly, meeting the other students, I think the biggest draw of the EMBA program is the, the diverse crowds and different backgrounds that you, that you meet. You know, even though I'm in my career, I'm still meeting new colleagues that we work with. Um, and, you know, there's been a, a few standouts. So one of them, uh, Tai Tran, the classmate in the EMBA program, uh, he's um, part of a company that does a lot of the hardware for my AI stuff. And we actually are working with him to do some of our purchases for our hardware. Uh, another colleague that I had was Suzanne Rusted. She actually is uh, works at UCI Health and we've been working more and more together to see how do we bring our AI-based tools into UCI Health. And so we're on, we're working on a you know, strategic operating uh, plan with her. So you know, these are all connections that were definitely facilitated. And then the, big, uh, the other big thing are definitely the professors. You know, I've met some professors who I'm starting to engage more with for my own research career and interests, um, and also bringing them into the academic initiative we're working on, the center we're working on. So it's been a really, really good experience. So I think the, the people. Definitely, the people definitely help you progress more in your careers. It's great. It's also nice to hear that your professors have have definitely had a hand in that and you know help you progress later on. So that's really awesome. And then what advice would you have for new students that are coming in? I think one of the things is to recognize the amount of different opportunities there are for the campus, like things to work on. You know, I think if you if you make college where all you want to do is just go to your classes and do well, like that's part of it. But it's also the experience for all the different groups that you can be involved with, the different classmates you can be involved with, all the activities. I think if you, you know, you really need to get plugged in for that and have that community experience. And I think that's one of the big draws for UCI. Even during COVID, you know, it's still very, very possible. And then for those interesting, interested in grad school, I'd say it's, def it's definitely never too late to do something new. You know, I, I am in my mid thirties when I started the MBA program and it was in the middle of the pandemic. Um, you know, there's never, there's this idea that, oh, I'm gonna wait for the right time, but something's always gonna happen in life and there's never a perfect time. The perfect time is you know, now just, just do it and get that experience. I 100% agree. <laughs> you definitely need to be involved in campus to really get the full college experience. What organizations were you a part of when you were an undergrad? 
as a grad, um, I've been involved in some of the, uh, you know, in the small groups, a lot of times we'll have these little um, shark tank meetings or pitch meetings. And mm -hmm. so it's, it's been fun to participate in some of those, uh, work with your classmates and that kind of stuff, um, give advice. And I think it, it really shows you like the different types of backgrounds, especially for the grad program, because all of us, you know, we have our own professions and jobs and we're all trying to see how does this Emba enhance that? So I think that was a big thing. Mm, okay. So then aside from, you know, meeting the people and joining all these organizations, what will you miss most about being a grad student at UCI or just UCI in general? Well, I still work here, so I'll still be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, what will I miss more? Um, the classroom experience is actually a lot of fun. Like being able to show up in class and it's your time to learn. I think one of the things that, you know, I, 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 that you that I took for granted when I was an undergrad and even when I was in med school was that having this protected time where your job where you're focused right now is for just one hour or two hours is to just learn is something that when you're an adult and you're having a job you don't really have those experiences right like when I'm at work now I'm very much focused on my job or when I'm at home focused on you know wife and kids but to have that time where you have someone who is the professor or lecturer and their one job is to teach you, mentor you, give you, you know, give you, you know, some kind of wisdom for what you want to keep doing. That's a very, very unique thing that only a student has. So that's very true. I admire that. Yeah, of course. All right. So then to wrap up this interview, um, tell us what's next for you. Like I know you're definitely gonna stay at UCI and you know still be a physician and stuff, but is there a goal in mind that you have? Is there something you want to achieve in your career? Yeah, so one of the big things that drew me to the MBA program here at UCI is that one of their slogans is, you know, they're, they're fully cognizant of this digital transformation that's underway. I think there is no profession that is not going to be touched by, you know, digital machine learning, AI, and so forth. And, and healthcare is no, no exception. I do think that we are within a generation, this generation, you know, we are really going to be able to see what does that digital healthcare experience look like? What does the patient care experience look like in the digital age? You know, what does digital health even mean? We hear these terms being thrown out around the time, but the actualization of that is still a little bit murky. And I think what I wanna do, you know, with our Center for AI and Health and the things that were going on is to really shape what that looks like, to shape that experience. And I think that, you know, UCI is a great environment for that. I think we have great medical students, great College of Health Sciences, and even a collaboration that beyond that, you know, we're working with the business school, working with ICS, you know, it's definitely multidisciplinary. So this is gonna be exciting. Well, thank you so much, Dan. Thank you so much, Dr. Chow, for all that you've been doing and all, you know, all that you've accomplished here at UCI as a grad student and as a physician. We really thank you for your service. Um, is there anything else you wanna leave with the students here today? Um, no, I think just, you know, make the most out of your time here. Make the most, of course. That's always the <laughs> that's always the best advice you can give. All right, I can thank you so much, UCI students, prospective students, for joining us here at ZotTube. You can check out our other videos in the I am UCI student series on um, our channel below. Thank you guys so much. Bye.